How's it going hockey fans? My name is Zach and welcome to a new format to these kind of videos called Habs in 5. A fast paced video series where I recap the game and give my thoughts on it in under and or about 5 minutes. Let's get right into it. So overall this was a very big, very explosive game from both sides with 11 goals total. But in the first period it was relatively slow compared to the rest of the game with only one goal being scored on the stick of Sam Reinhardt. The goal being assisted by Casey Middlesat and Brandon Montour. The Habs outshot the Sabres 12-8 and there were two unsuccessful power plays, one for each side, penalties giving to Lekkonen and Okpozo. The second period was much more eventful with the Habs reaching the goal four times and three of them being within 10 minutes. The first goal of the period coming from Lekkonen, diving out to tuck the puck into the back of the net, assisted by Domi and Shaw. Gallagher scores for the Habs' second goal of the period, assisted from Dino. And then the third goal, Shaw and Domi both get their second point of the night, with Kulak also getting an assist, Shaw getting the goal. The Buffalo Sabres answer back with a beautiful one-timer from the stick of Nylander. This goal is scored on the power play, assisted by Eichel and Dolan. And then Scandella scores to tie it up with just four minutes left in the game. But before the end of the period, Paul Byron scores the Habs' fourth goal of the period, assisted from Wheel and Thompson, the fourth line connecting to bring the lead back to Montreal. The third period stays exciting with Brendan Gallagher scoring to start the period off, eight minutes and 35 seconds into the period. This goal was assisted by Weber and Tatar, giving Gallagher his second goal of the night. Eichel answers, bringing the scoreline back to 5-4, being the Sabres' last goal of the game, with Eichel scoring his very first goal ever in Montreal, unassisted, on a little bang-in from in front of the net. And Domi on the power play under two minutes later scores for his third point on the night, assisted by Tatar and Petrie. And to seal the deal, Thomas Tatar scores the empty netter, assisted by Gallagher and Deneau, making the score 7-4 for the final. Domi, Tatar, and Gallagher all having three-point nights, with Shaw and Deneau also having multi-point nights. Carey Prey struggled over the game by his standards, letting in four goals and only posting an 8-5-3 save percentage over the game, saving 23 out of 27 shots. He overplayed the puck a couple times, sliding over too far on the Nylander shot, and by his standards he didn't have too great of a game, but going into the game he had about a 9-5 save percentage over his last five games, so we can take a game of Carey struggling, especially when our offense is so dynamic. And my player of the game for this game is going to be Domi with his flurry of beautiful points and beautiful play creations, especially the nice little zone entry, spinning backhand pass to create the chance for Lekkonen's goal, and an overwhelming awesome game from him. You saw great speed, great skill from him. Only one line for the Habs didn't get a single point being the third line, and only six players total walked out of the game pointless. It was an awesome game by the Habs, a crucial two points coming into the end of the series, really helping our playoff push, really striving for that second wild card, maybe even the first wild card at this point. Carolina also winning last night, so we don't get any points on them, but Columbus didn't play, so we'll have to see how well their game turns out for them to see how well we're standing in the wild card race. No matter what, we are at least one point up on the Columbus Blue Jackets, and we're still two points behind Carolina. But anyways, that is going to wrap up Habs in 5. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of this fast-paced recap series. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like and comment. Um, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell for post notifications. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.